Hey, fellow investors! It's Tuesday, December twenty second, two thousand and twenty. I'm Hoda, co-founder and CEO of StockCard, and here is a recap of today's market's noteworthy movements. The stock market indices took different directions on Tuesday. The Nasdaq index ended the day in the green, while the other two indices wrapped Tuesday in the red. The stimulus package excitement subsided after President Trump requested Congress to change the stimulus checks to two thousand dollar per person instead of the proposed six hundred. Investors assumed the bill wouldn't get signed by the president, and the market's mood got dampened. Shares of GameStop were up by more than twenty four percent. The video game retailer has been considered the poster child of the so-called retail apocalypse. After the COVID-19 pandemic shutting down brick-and-mortar retail operations for months, many investors assume bankruptcy is not too far off for the company. Earlier in the months, however, when the company had its quarterly earnings report, we learned about RC Ventures, a major investor in GameStop, who has asked the company to focus on creating value for shareholders. Such large investors who take an active interest in changing a specific company's direction are typically known as activist investors. In this case, because RC Venture is a firm managed by the co-founder of Chewies, investors are getting even more excited. Opposite to GameStop, Chewies is the poster child of retail success. It's understandable for investors to get excited about the possibility of a more growth-oriented focus by GameStop if RC Ventures get even more involved. Time will tell, but the excitement seems to be a bit ahead of reality. Even if RC Ventures gets more involved, it takes time to steer GME's ship around. Time will tell, but something to watch with a keen eye in the next few weeks and months. Shares of Tesla were down by almost two percent again on Tuesday. The debut of its joining the S&P 500 didn't go too well on Monday, and now there are rumors that Apple is coming out with its own electric vehicle. If Apple is known for anything, is luxury and good design. Therefore, the worry is that Apple comes up with a nicely designed, user-friendly Tesla alternative and eats Tesla's cake in the market it has dominated for so long. Now, Tesla investors. Have to ask themselves if the rumors are true. Can Tesla stay competitive and maintain its leadership position until Apple doesn't release any details? We can't answer that question for sure. For now, we have to wait and see what that would look like when Apple actually releases news about its electric vehicle. We are officially in the Santa Claus rally period. What's that, you ask? It's a historic stock market rally in the last week of December and into the New Year's first two days. Analysts attribute the rally to either Wall Street's good mood or the vacation time for more significant, more sophisticated funds. But be careful with such market predictions. While the Santa Claus rally seems to be a jolly moment, only two thirds of December's the rally has occurred, according to Investopedia. Santa Claus may decide not to come to town this time around. Even if Santa Claus decides to come to town this year, the average five-day cumulative return of the rallies in the past has been around 1.4 percent. So yes, the rally could come, but it wouldn't fund your. New Year Eve's party, even if it happens this year. That's it for today. If you like these quick market recap reports directly from my daily stock market research, please like and subscribe and share with your fellow investors. I'll see you tomorrow.